Welcome to our tutorial of Omega T. Omega T is a free software available to both PC and Mac users. This tutorial will be conducted on a Mac and our source document to translate will be in Microsoft Word format. Once you have downloaded the Omega T software, the icon will appear on your desktop and you are ready to get started on a new translation project. So we're going to click on Omega T and this will be the there will be a startup screen that will that you will see every time you open the tool. It includes a quick tutorial on the very basics on how to use Omega T. We are going to start a new project today by clicking on project and selecting new. This will be, bring up a new window asking you to name your project. We will name our project new project. It will also ask you where it will be located and saved. We are selecting the desktop. The next screen will open up a window create new project. At the top you will see you will have to select your source file language or source language using the drop down menu. Next you will select your translated files language or target language. We will keep the sentence level segmenting enabled because we prefer to translate this text segment by segment. These file locations will already be populated according to your preference from the previous selection where you saved your project. We are going to leave them just the way they are for now. Then hit OK. Next, the project files will pop up and this prompts you to import your source files. We do this by clicking import source files. Here we choose our Word document from our desktop and click choose. The project files window will now tell you some statistical information about your source file, such as the total of the total number of segments. Now we are done with this window, so we're going to close out of here. Okay, and it's time to talk about our main Omega T workspace in which we will conduct our translation. Before we begin translating, we have to set our preferences. So in the view window, we are going to choose how we want our segments to be displayed by color. To make it easier to translate, Omega T allows you to mark the translated segments yellow, untranslated segments in blue, and to keep your source segments in green. This can be especially helpful when working on larger documents. Let's begin translating our first segment here. When I'm done entering my target text, this text will appear yellow to give me a better idea of what I've already translated. Like so. For the sake of this tutorial, we went ahead and translated the rest of the segments. Now let's take a look at how to manage the glossary. Let's assume that we were given a glossary by our clientele in a simple Microsoft Word document. In order to have this document be readable in Omega T, allowing it to use this list of terms, it is important to format the, the terms in the document by placing a tab between the source term and the target term. Omega T requires the glossary to be in a .txt format in order for it to be usable in the software. We are now going to open the new project folder and drop our glossary into the glossary subfolder. Now that our glossary is all ready to use, we're going to open a new document 
called dogs too. This document is similar to the first document we had translated, but has some variations so we can see the glossary at work. So we're just going to open it. As you can see, the terms in the glossary were inserted into the document as soon as the document was ready to be translated. The glossary match will appear once we click on the corresponding segment. Let's say you want to add a new term to the glossary. So you can do this by clicking on Edit and selecting Create Glossary Entry. The term is now added to the glossary folder of Omega T. Now let's take a look at where this term shows up in our glossary. So we're just going to open the glossary folder and open the new project glossary and there it is. If you want to look up a certain term in the glossary, you can click on the edit button and select search project or control F and let's look for the term dog and there it is okay so let's look at the translation memory in action as you can see the translation memory has already translated the terms that are a hundred percent matching um, and they appear in yellow in this window, you can see the fuzzy matches to the terms which can be adjusted by going to Options and choosing Editing Behavior. Here, we have chosen to have the minimal similarity at 15%. And the segments that are not yet translated still remain blue. Okay, so now that we are done with our translation, we are ready to save and export, which is going to be done by clicking on Project and Create Translated Documents. You will see in the bottom left that the document has been created. Now let's take a look at the exported document. So you go to the project folder and click on target folder and select your target document. The document has now been exported into a Microsoft Word document and it has kept the same format as the source document while also specifying the fuzzy matches.